and has at least one point in 60 of the 70 games in which he has played. A giveaway here. Neighbors moves into the backhand. Save made by Skinner. He stayed home and didn't buy the deep. Tested early here. It's just a, a turnover in the neutral zone. Neighbors picks this puck up. Ekholm is completely flat-footed as Neighbors comes with him. His speed tries to go with his backhand. Skinner does a good job staying with him, but Ekholm's flat-footed, has no chance. Neighbors coming in on him. It's going to be a career high in assists, so it's, it's impressive what he can do both, both ways. Fourth line controlling the puck behind the net. Brown works it to the goal line, brings it to the near side, half wall, all the way back for a one-timer. Ekholm scores! Matthias Ekholm with a blast from the point. The playmaker was Connor Brown. Yeah, Bennington can't see this puck at all. It's good traffic in front of the, the net from Yanmark. Scandella and Perengo are both in front of the net covering Yanmark. And you see Bennington, he cannot see this puck. Yanmark gets all of this one. You see the flex in the stick as he leans into it. Goes far side. Bennington trying to look around. Snaps the pass to Bouchard. Dry sidle. Accelerates. In the high slot. Team one up. Save! Oh, sprawling is Bennington to take one away from Henrique off a beautiful backhanded setup from Drysidle. Getting the Drysidle line out against a tired St. Louis group. You see three St. Louis players on one side of the ice. When your legs go, your mind goes. All of a sudden, they're out of position. And Henrique with a great opportunity. Branco tries to block it. But Bennington flashes the leather. What a save to keep this a 1-0 game. It's good to see that there are some numbers analytically that we can get you to embrace. <laughs> embrace that one. Yeah, well, welcome to the nerd world. On Nick Hyman and a follow. Score! Nugent Hopkins follows up the rush from Hyman. The top line strikes. And Edmonton has a 2-0 lead. As this puck comes to the front of the net, Pennington's just going to misplay it. The rebound's going to sit right there. Hyman's driving. Makes a little chip there. Almost bumps into Pennington. And as that happens... Nugent Hopkins comes in. You can see right there a little bump. Bennington's five hole opens up. I'd be interested to see if they challenge this because right here they bump some, gets him out of position. Nugent Hopkins buries the rebound, but. St. Louis is challenging the play for goalie interference for on the goal. All right, so Kelly, the same thing you saw, they saw on the St. Louis bench. Let's see what Dave Jackson has seen here. Jax, what do you think? Well, Bob, I agree with Callie. There was contact. Contact was in the blue. Uh, Bennington, um, Bennington was fully in the blue paint. Uh, contact with the stick. Was it enough to prevent him from doing his job? It looks to me that possibly it knocked the stick away from the five hole. Right there, you see contact with the stick. The five hole opens. The puck goes in. I think it's a good challenge. After the coach's challenge, it was determined that there was goaltender interference on the play. There is no goal. At the line to Hayes. Seam pass. It hops over the stick of Shen. He'll gather and set things back up again. Into the bumper at Saab. They move it to Hayes. Plays catch with Falk across. Shen. One timer. Brandon Shen rips one home on the power play. And this game is tied. But it moves Skinner as well. You can see a couple one touches up top. Uses the bumper in the middle. Over to Shen, and Shen fires this one. And just beats Skinner clean. And Skinner's not happy either. He thinks he's interfered with it as well as Edmonton's looking at this. And that goal went in. You can see Skinner kind of raised his hands up. Unless 13 somehow makes contact with his stick prior to the puck going in. But I haven't seen anything that would warrant goalie interference. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it there either. I don't know if it's when Torpchenko. After the coach's challenge is determined, there was no goaltender interference on the table. Anything just sets a minor penalty for the end game. Thomas. Out to Falk on net. Save made by Skinner. The rebound loose. Trying to lift. It was Cairo. He couldn't put it past Skinner. It's behind him to the corner. And trying to clear his McDavid and cannot. Yes, it does get past Falk. And it's all the way down, courtesy of Nugent Hopkins. We're back at five aside. Torovchenko gave it away. Here comes Dreisaitl. Out of the box with a breakaway. Dreisaitl. Save by Bennington. He kicked the left pad out and stopped the Dreisaitl backhander. Dreisaitl with a great opportunity right out of the box. 
all alone on Bennington. Tries to wait him out. Bennington kicks out the left pad. 1-1 here in St. Louis. And now Cairo. Center circle. Buchnevich racing after it. Buchnevich gets there first. Centering pass. Oh, and getting a save by Skinner. Good opportunity for St. Louis. Got a D-man pitching for Edmonton. It's a quick two-on-one as this puck comes out of the zone. Torpchenko doesn't have much room once he gets this puck. All he can do is shovel this one in. Tries to go five-fold. Almost gets it. Back Hyman across. Hyman swoops in behind the net. Hyman centers one. On the doorstep, a sprawling glove save made by Bennington on that floater from Nugent Hopkins. Looking for that one-timer from the left side. Ten seconds to go in the period. Stand behind the net. Centering pass off to Cairo. Just off the outside of the net. Skating onto the puck is Kula. Dry saddle. Try to stand one out in front. Hayes was there. Puts it past Bouchard. Kapanen on the move. Kapanen moves in. Centering pass. Second of the night for the captain. Braden Shen. Puts it past Skinner. And the Blues have the lead. But what's going to happen here is Bouchard tries to keep this puck in. As he does that, it just bounces on him. And then it's Shen and Kapanen off to the races. Kapanen over to Shen. On and off the stick. Doesn't allow Skinner to get a piece of that one. Little sauce right there. Shen wastes no time with it. Little flutter, but that's why you get it off quickly. You don't stick handle it. Two to one. But again, a couple of weeks to go in the regular season. There's a chopped stick. Neighbors moves in. Save made by Skinner. As Neighbors tried to go five hole. Neighbors drives hard to the net. Tries to open up. Skinner, Skinner. McDavid peels to the corner. Finds the trailer. It's Ekholm. Ekholm with room. Centering pass. Save made by Bennington. Does the splits and traps the puck. Shifted Edmonton and Dreisaitl. And they get a great chance off of it. It's Ekholm looking for Hyman in front of the net. And Drew Bannister told us earlier today the game was an embarrassment. His team has responded tonight. A takeaway though. Out in front. Score! There it is! The two big gun strike as Dreisaitl is able to light the lamp and tie it in two. You can feel it coming. It's McDavid who's going to set up Dreisaitl. This puck gets rimmed around. And watch the feet work from McDavid. Steals it off of Branko. Gets to the front of the net. Finds Dreisaitl back door. Such good feet work. Ability to steal that puck. Vision. Finds Dreisaitl on and off the stick. No chance. Zach Hyman, all the way behind the net, Hyman out in front, wheel around, Rister and a blocker save made by Bennington, two minutes gone by in overtime, neither team laying back, both teams are attacking, and here is Rowe, moving in his side, to the forehand, He's made early out of this overtime. And the turnover happens right here. Saad jumps off the bench. Gets Skinner to open up that five hole. Slides it in. And what a move by Saad. And what big two points for the St. Louis Blues. LA loses. St. Louis wins. Only trailed by three points now.